Hello to another video of um, in this video I'm going to show you some modeling tricks in Maya on how you can fix your mesh which is uh, which contains too much triangles or angles which means faces with more than four sides um, so at first I made a model this is the kind of mesh that we want to achieve if I run a cleanup on this see my options select matching polygons applied only to selected objects and so, um, with the selection of four sided faces and now when I clean up it will select all faces with four sides for this model and as you can see it selected all of my faces that means that all of the faces of this model are four sided faces so this is the, uh, the mesh the kind of mesh that we want to achieve another thing is that we want to in the parts that we're going to be animated and uh, such like the eyes we want to have such edge loops in circular form as well as for the mouth for example see this edge goes through this whole mouth and we could do this for the nose as well such um, as I made it here so I did this model uh, another comment I want to do this this reference image was created by Inky Dragon you can find his, I mean her, portfolio in DeviantArt. It's going to be a nice 3D modeler, I think. So I use this as a reference. Thank you for that. And now she gave me her mesh to see how we can fix this this mess because, as you can see. There are many triangles, many five-sided faces, and there's really not. I'm gonna hide the cameras now. There's really not much of an of, of a nice edge flow. So, but anyway, if we smooth this and watch this in smooth view, the, the shape is really nice. I, I have to admit it. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix this mesh to achieve a nice edge flow while having. We're still having this shape like this, so we're gonna sh we're gonna start right here at the mouth, or yes, no, bef even before that. Let's see how much faces need to be fixed. So we select the mesh and run a cleanup on this. Same settings. Now I press Shift and Shift select all of the faces and will invert my selection. And now we can see there are 58 faces for this half model that needs to be fixed because they have more or less than four sides. So let's get started on this. I think I first start here right at the nose. This edge flow goes to about here. Okay, uh, wait, before, even before we get started. I want to show you uh, the main tools I'm going to use for this example. It's going to be the interactive split tool which uh, was introduced into Maya 2012. It's kind of like the same like the split polygon tool of the versions before but it's, it's a little bit more powerful now. You can see it just behaves a little bit better. I like to work with this one. Um, the other tool that I'm going to use is the insert edge loop tool. It's really important to add division and uh, resolution to your mesh. The other tool that we're going to use is this cut geometry tool. I'm going to say some words to this later. And at last, but not least, uh, the delete faces uh, vertices, vertices and edges tool, which does for those who don't know if I take this edge now let's let's take this edge and if I want to do let's take, no, let's take this edges here and if I just hit delete it deleted the edges but it still kept the vertices so I still can select the vertices and that means that these faces are no longer four-sided so 
the delete edges slash vertices will delete the edge and the corresponding vertices so that now we have straight edge on this. I'm gonna undo this. Okay, and I uh, made my custom modeling shelf over the over my whole modeling experience. And you can make your own shelf as well, just um, for instance I wanna add the bevel tool, just hold control shift and then click I'm gonna click on the option option box and then it will add it will add this tool options. So when I select these edges and now press here, it will automatically open the options. But I don't use this so often so get rid of it. Now now let's get started. After the introduction. Um, I'm gonna pause the video here and upload the second part later. So see you in the second part.